The carnage Lee Warren encountered in the combat hospital at Balad, Iraq in 2005 was like nothing he had ever seen as a neurosurgeon. And no patient was worse off than this soldier, brought in by helicopter after being hit by a roadside bomb. I unwrapped his head in the emergency room and looked at him and thought he was dead. He was, Warren later wrote, one of the most horrifically injured people I have ever operated on. His scalp and the front part of his face was all gone. Uh, and then I could see his uh, frontal lobe on the left side sort of protruding out onto his face. His brain? His brain uh, was exposed and hanging out. After four hours in surgery, Warren and three other doctors managed to get him on a medevac flight out of Iraq, still alive. Warren called the soldier's father but could offer little hope. I just didn't see how anybody with that injury could survive. Right. Warren left the military and started a successful practice, kind of but he had nightmares now. about all the wounded soldiers whose fate he never learned. Okay. Finally, he faced his demons by opening a trunk he had gear. brought back from Iraq. Most of it is. He found bullets and shrapnel he had pulled from brains, and a thumb drive with files of his cases, including the soldier with that horrible head wound. Warren looked him up online. He popped up on a CBS interview, uh, very much alive and well. He was Army Specialist Paul Statzer, and we had met him at Walter Reed Army Medical Center six months after he was hit. Do you mind if we ask you to take off your helmet? No, I don't mind. Wow, you lost a lot. He had lost part of his frontal lobe, but was still coached. I'm a little slow on certain things, but not that bad. So what's the lesson that a brain surgeon draws from that? The power of the human spirit and indomitable faith uh, can do a lot, sometimes more than I can with my two hands. Over the years, Paul Statzer has suffered multiple infections and seizures. He's not able to work and he's not up for another television interview. But when they met, he told the surgeon who thought he would never make it, he is up for a living. That was one of the questions I asked him. Are you happy? And, and he said, yeah. And he said, thanks for saving me. And with that, the patient helped save the doctor from his own demons of Iraq. David Martin, CBS News, Auburn, Alabama.